I love a good semi-final. Hit like and subscribe, let's go live the dream. What's up guys, Chasing Labour here with episode number 31 of Living the Dream. And today we're playing Aldershot on the first leg of the FA Trophy semi-final. Before we get into that, let's just get you all caught up on some stuff that's happened. First of all, games you've missed since the quarter-final. We played Ebbsfleet, beat them 1-0 with Joseph Torrance scoring. Beat Altrincham 5-1. A brace from Jack Wilshire, both from the penalty spot, with Porter, Robson and Torrent scoring. We then drew 2 all with Dulwich Hamlet, with Torrent and Porter scoring again. Then beat Torquay 4-1 with an own goal from Fraser Kerr. Larry Lee scoring, Robert McCormick with a penalty, and Harrison Dunk getting himself on the score sheet for the first time. That's the big results catch-up. However, we've also had a youth intake, so we're going to, have, we're going to go have a look at that now. And I'll still learn English one day. So this is the youth intake we got, sorted by potential, and look at some of these absolute animals we've got here. Marshall Wickham is pretty much good enough for the first team already, which is waiting for his contract to come in. He'll probably start starting very soon. He's our third best striker already, and so much potential. He's an advanced forward, fit strength of the squad, good determination, good finishing. He's going to be an absolute beast of a player. He's only 15, he'll be with us for a long time. The other big standout was Aris Kerrigan, who's a central midfielder who can also play on the wings. Apparently a ball-winning midfielder, but we'll see how that works out where we're going. They can play both the roles that we actually look for, although I'm not going to lie, that haircut and that moustache and beard combination is awful for a 16-year-old man needs to sort his life out. Not far off first team level, it's got to be said. Seventh best central midfielder in the squad. It's not a bad place for a guy to be coming straight out of the youth system. We've got a bunch of other guys here who are kind of standouts in terms of potential. Gary Petty's going to have to learn some new positions. We've got two other strikers as well who could become big stars for us. Jamie Gray will need some nurturing, but again, big star for us on the left-hand side potentially. And Miles Broom, another guy I'm very excited about at centre-half, a slash centre midfield, slash right back, and kind of do it all. So he'll be he'll be a guy we keep an eye on. He's good determination, really good determination. And the goalkeeper I was hoping for long term, this might be your guy, Harry Starkey. So everything looking good on the youth intake front. We'll see those guys come through. But for now, let's get into the game against Aldershot and see what we can do. So the starting lineup I've gone with today has a very familiar feel to it. So Omer, Cisse, Mascheski, Kirk. New guy though, Curtis. He's another young player I found in the youth team. I need a left back because all my left backs are either injured or suspended. Found this guy knocking about the under 18s and he's not bad. He's not bad at all. He was from last year's youth intake, so he's going to get a debut today. We'll see how good he turns out to be. We've got Larry Lee at right wing, Hardy, Kayembe, and Robson in the middle with Torrent and Porter up top. Wilshire, Ardley, Marsh, Jerome, and Dunk make up the bench, which might be the oldest defense, the oldest bench, sorry, I've used all season. So we're going to have to try and fight our way through against Aldershot. We should be good enough to get through. We've got two chances to do it. We start off at home. Let's see what we can do. So into the team talk. Go out there and carry on from where we finished out last match. It feels like good advice. People seem to have taken it. So let's see what happens. We are live on the telly today, which is always good. Being live on the TV means extra revenue. And extra revenue will help us immensely as we try and get ourselves back up into the league. Hopefully that will be something we can achieve this season. Nobody in the team for older shot I recognise specifically, so hopefully that's a good omen. Not necessarily the biggest crowd today for a semi-final game. You'd have thought we'd get a bigger one, but that's fine. We'll make it work. Let's just go get the win. Early goal kick for older shot. Walker puts it forward. Only as far as Porter, who finds Max Robson. Max Robson might go on a run here. Looks for Torrent. And Joseph Torrent getting himself an early goal here. Plays out to Larry Lee. Into Torrent again. Torrent's through. Joseph Torrent doesn't miss from there. 45 times he's scored this season. 45 times for Joseph Torrent scoring. The man's on unbelievable form. I feel almost certain he's going to reach 50 goals this season. He may reach 60 goals this season. His goal scoring has been incredible. I've just given him a new contract to tie him down for another couple of years as well. So he should be with us at least until we get into the league, if not up the leagues as well. And now older shot with a free kick. Almamani or whatever it is. I couldn't, I couldn't pronounce his name at all. Crosses for Blackman. Blackman has scored 17 goals in a season. So you're not even trying. You're not even trying. Don't even try and pretend you're Almani. Yeah, it looks like Almani. 
Omer kind of flapped that a little bit. That was not really what we were looking for. And two goals in the early going. This could be a bit of a, a bit of a thriller. Fowler to Roberts. Curtis makes the tackle though. And Porter has picked up the ball. Porter finds Robson. What can Robson do? Can he find another great pass? He's been tackled, but Kayembe is there to sweep up. Gets it out to Larry Lee. If Larry Lee can beat his man will be okay, but he plays it out to Cissé. Cissé down the line for Lee. What can Lee do? No, he can get a cross in. He's got a cross in. It's been cleared by Tricker. Thought Kayembe might get there, but now it's with Panayoto and Mashevsky clearing up. Kayembe to Hardy. Ball out wide, looking for Robson. Max Robson, we know, is dangerous. He's going to play it back, looking for Curtis to Kayembe. It's good, good, solid, sensible decisions. That was not a sensible pass, though. And Hardy's picked up. Can Hardy have a... Oh, it's just over the bar. Just over the bar from Steve Hardy. Corner, Hardy taking it, plays it short to Kayembe. Kayembe should be able to get a cross off here. He's pretty good at picking out a cross. Plays it to Curtis instead, puts it into the box. Doesn't quite find his man. Mashevsky is there to pick it up. We know he can cross as well, actually. Lee again, Mashevsky. Ball back to Kayembe. Really sensible play here. Really good, just keeping the ball. Kayembe is going to be disadvantaged being there. It'll be his weaker foot to get a cross in. So he finds Hardy to Torrent. Know what Torrent was trying there. If it was 1 2, it didn't work. But we're okay. We've still got it. Mashevsky forward to Robson to Porter. Jason Porter. Plenty of people around him. Torrent. Back to Kayembe in space. To Hardy. They're pressing us really closely here. Larry Lee picks it up. He's cut inside the box. He's going to have a pop. He is just wide. Just wide from Larry Lee. Throw it on the far side. Curtis short to Kayembe. Curtis again. Plays it forward to Robson to Porter. Jason Porter has options around him. He's a good creative force. He's going alone, he's not. Plays in Larry Lee. And Larry Lee finally gets a goal. His third goal of the season, but he's looked like he's wanted one the entire game so far. And Larry Lee gets himself on the score sheet, puts us back in front just on the stroke of half-time. And that could be an absolutely game-changing moment. We know the player's confidence can be boosted by a goal just before half-time, or it can be completely destroyed by conceding before half-time. And the fact that we've managed to get that goal this late in the first half Definitely bodes very, very well for us. Going to try and claim there was someone offside here. I mean, it's close. It is close, but he's managed to just beat the offside trap. And we've got ourselves ahead. Corner. Hardy to take it. Plays it to Kayembe. We're very late in the first half now. We can get a third goal here. This will put things to bed. Curtis has a pop. Michael Curtis, on his debut out of the youth team, has just pile-driven one home. Absolutely pile-driven one home. I I thought he was worth looking at to develop, but he might be worth keeping around if he can do that more often, because that was beautiful. Took one touch, steadied himself, and absolutely rammed it home. That's a man who didn't come to mess around, and they've got themselves a free kick again. Goes to Edsa, to Rowe. We need to avoid them getting back into this game. That would be ideal. Roberts picks it up, but Kayembe is there with the tackle. I'm going to drop some praise now while I feel fairly sure we're not going to concede. Which means we will. Mashevsky to Kirk, to Kayembe. What can Kayembe do? Ball through to Steve Hardy. Steve Hardy just needs to go on a run here, wait for something to open up. Something did open up, he took it. Porter though, probably a bit too late releasing the ball. Hardy, through to Robson. Max Robson is there. 4-1 at half time and it's starting to feel a bit like we might be on our way to a final. This might be this might be our trip to a final. This might be the second final we've played in on this FM cycle. For those of you who missed the Sunderland one, by the way, go check that out because the Sunderland semi the Sunderland final was absolutely well worth well worth the price of admission, which by the way is zero. And now half time is upon us. And we can maybe Maybe see if we can get ourselves home and dry. A couple more goals would do us lovely here, so let's see what we can do. Throw in for CSA on the right-hand side. Goes deep, looking for Joe Sittorin, who gets his head to it. Heads it down to Porter. Porter heads it out to Kayembe. Kayembe tried to pop, didn't quite get there. Torrent is through again. Robson is through. Offside. I don't know who was offside there. Maybe I wasn't paying close enough attention, but I didn't see who was offside there. We've got ourselves another free kick, though, and Mashevsky will take it to Kayembe. Kayembe, ball forward to Porter. Porter plays in Torrent. Joseph Torrent has a go. He's gone out for a corner. I'm going to take this opportunity to take off the two guys who are on bookings, because that feels really sensible with it. another leg to play. We'll get George Marshall on it at centre-half. Why not? Curtis is going to pick this up. Probably had to work a little too hard to get there. Ball out wide to Mashevsky. Mashevsky, though. I mean, that was pointless. 
goal kick for Oldershot. Walker takes it, goes long, looking for Whittingham, but I thought Kayembe might win that. He didn't. Edsa plays it short to Langstaff. I've used all three subs, by the way. We've sent on Wilshire, Marsh and Ardley just to replace guys that were on bookings. And now Porter is through. Jason Porter. I oh, can't quite add his name to the score sheet. It's been cleared by Oldershot for a uh, throw-in. Free kick, Walker, ball up the field, but it's only going to go as far. It has gone to one of their players. I thought we were going to pick that up. Then Wilshire can't make the tackle either. Roberts to Langstaff. Wilshire goes in with a tackle. Edsa picks it up, though. Can we keep our eyes up, keep defending here? That would be the ideal. Ben Almani has played into Langstaff to Edsa again to Almani. Let's do some defending, boys. Langstaff is through. We need some goalkeeping to happen here. Really good stuff by Omer. Mashevsky puts it out into touch. And they're going straight from the throw in to Langstaff. Langstaff, what can he do to Booty, to Edsa, back to Booty, back to Edsa. They're trying to keep the ball. They haven't got time to keep the ball, if we're completely honest. They do not have time to keep the ball. Booty picks it up out wide, cross goes in. Roberts is there. Jordan Roberts scores. It's 4-2. And maybe they found a way back into this tie. It's going to be a good second leg either way. That much I can promise you that will be coming up in the next episode. Just so you guys are aware of that whilst we've got a moment looking at the replay. The next episode we'll play the second leg in. And hopefully we'll do a slightly better job of defending than this one. Throw in. Ardley throws it long. Looking for Torrent. Heads it down for Kayembe. Kayembe tries to have a pop. Doesn't get there. Wilshire is through though. Jack Wilshire gets tackled. Larry Lee tries across. They're defending with every man they've got. Ball goes forward. Ben Elmani is there. Plays it through to Roberts. He's already punished us once. Very lucky that went wide. There's only a few minutes left, but it'd be nice to hold off a little bit. It's going to be a free kick late on. Marsh is going to be the guy that takes it. Plays it to Kayembe. Kayembe has options. Looks for Jason Porter on the through ball. Porter is through. Walker makes the save. It should have been a goal. The commentator is right, but we are going to get ourselves a corner. What can we do from the corner? Ardley is going to be the man taking it. Goes short for Jack Wilshire. Wilshire plays Ardley back in. Can't quite get the cross off. Now Roberts has picked it up. Is there anyone there waiting for it? There is. Curtis is in there with a the tackle, but didn't really do a lot for us. We need to keep this scrappy. Keep what we're doing up. Roberts puts the ball forward, looking for booty. Everyone needs to get back and do some defending here. That was... I don't know if that was a cross or a shot. It was an absolute waste, though. Omer throws it to Curtis. Marsh, ball forward, looking for Porter. Wilshire is there, finds Torrent. Joseph Torrent might go alone. He might pick out a man. He could go either way here. He did nothing really. Lee gets a ball forward, doesn't quite find anyone, and Whittingham is now on the ball. We have to sit back. We have to keep this up. We have kept this up. It's a 4-2 win. It's not an impressive defensive display by any means, but we have managed to get the win. That was all that really matters. So we're just going to go forward now, and uh, we'll wrap the episode up, because there's really no need to keep going at this point. We'll come back in the next episode for the second leg and we'll see what happens with it. You can find me on the socials below. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Patreon at Chasing Lamely. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe because hitting like and subscribe is how you get, I don't know, luck or whatever it is you want. It's not real. But I'm trying to incentivize. Magic Graphic, because Magic Graphic is everyone's friend. And until next time, guys, I've been Chasing Lamely. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.